I'm already mesmerized. How about you? I welcome you to worship at Second Congregational Church of Cohasset on this, this fourth Sunday of Advent, our traditional cantata Sunday, and as you can tell, we are well served. Welcome to our guests. Welcome to each of you. And may I invite you to begin this glorious day of worship and celebration by remaining seated and joining in our opening hymn. wonderful progress this morning. We will not be repeating the announcements that are so clearly printed in your bulletin. Our Christmas Eve services are de de described here. We will have a 4 o'clock service on the common and a 7 o'clock service here in the sanctuary. Please do be aware that the following Sunday, just the 27th, um, is an online only service. So don't come. But please, it should be a very special service. So if you can um, join us uh, um, by going through the website and uh, being in worship on that first Sunday of Christmas. Let us continue in joy and in truth by standing and joining together in the call to worship. The angel of the Lord spoke to Joseph, confirming the word of the prophet and saying, Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The one who created us and sent us forth to this earthly dwelling place has not deserted us, but is come as incarnate love, born in a little child. Let us lift our voices in praise and celebration. Let us worship Emmanuel. Today is the fourth Sunday of Advent, the Sunday of love. Will you join me in the Advent liturgy that's printed in your bulletin? Jesus shows us God's perfect love. He is God's perfect love in human form. Those who believe in him and live in him Live in love. Love transforms and perfects all things. It never ends. We light this candle today to remind us that God is love. We thank God for the hope he gives us, for the peace he bestows, for the joy he pours into our hearts, and for the love that redeems us and shows us the way. God of love, Emmanuel, send your light into our hearts at this time. Help us to be ready for the time of Christ's appearing. Grant that we may so dwell in him that his perfect love fills our entire being. Make our worship a time in which we celebrate your love and are made ready to show that love to the whole world, both today and today and forevermore. Amen. Please be seated for our next hymn.
scripture reading this morning. It's from Luke, the first chapter, starting in verse 26. It is known as the Annunciation. I think you'll recognize the story. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this may be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and we be, will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, for her who is said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. May may God add a blessing to our hearing and our reverence for this sacred word. My friends, we have had quite a year. It has been filled with challenges met. It has been filled with unexpected opportunities, many of which we did not choose and did not relish. But it has also been filled with the coming together of this community in ways that have manifest strength and resilience and possibility and above all commitment to being the church that God has placed in this place. In a few moments, after we celebrate the gifts that God has given us in the regular participation of this community, we will also celebrate the promise that you have made to the continuity of this strong community by offering up to God for God's blessing the pledges you've made for 2021. I think I speak for all of us as we look forward to that year. Let us now hear the offertory anthem.
this offering plate. I add my pledge and I add the sealed pledge cards that have been received. Not all of them, some of them are in process as we have a long-standing system to keep the track of that. But I do have a report. We have three pledges paid in advance for 2021. And the balance of the pledges total, in addition to that $5,300 and included in that, $72,000 in pledges so far. And we know from our own history that as we get to the end of the year in early January, remaining pledges come in. I would encourage you to get your pledge card in if you have not already and to know that the gifts that you share with this community are the ways that we sustain the ministries that we have been given. As we pray for our current giving and our future opportunity, will you join me in the dedication of 2021 pledges that is in your bulletin? Everlasting God, our dwelling place in all generations, we bring our gifts and talents before you in gratitude and hope. Good and trustworthy stewards of your abundance and your joy. We pray this day for your blessing upon our gifts, upon our lives, and upon your church. Inspire our hearts each day to take hold of real life, to give, love, and live abundantly. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Good morning, Merry Christmas, and uh, I just wanted to welcome once again everybody here today and for those of you uh, that are joining us online. My name is Jin Kim, I'm the music director of this church. Uh, we're joined with um, all of you obviously, and then we have Konstantinos Papadakis on the piano and organ, and we have four guest musicians today, and uh, I'll go from the violin down. So we have um, Iliang Zhang, he goes by Eric and then uh, Leo Fu, and then uh, the viola you just heard during the offering, Jean Beaujean, and we have Yin Wen Cheng on the cello. And so we're very happy to uh, have the musicians join us. Obviously, there's no choir, 
and uh, Fire, I'm, I'm hoping that you, will, you are singing with us, um, remotely at least, and for those of you who are here, um, I still hear your voices, and we all miss you very much, and I think a lot of times you realize when you don't have something, that's when you realize how much you miss things and how, you know, how special things are. Um, and uh, uh, both the Sanctuary Choir members as well as the Festival Course members, um, we miss you and we look forward to having you next year uh, at this time. Um, and let's all pray that um, we come out of this uh, uh, all together uh, in a much better place. Um, so today we have an instrumental cantata. It may be the first time ever uh, in this uh, sanctuary. Um, however, uh, you'll notice that uh, the first piece that we're going to do used to be the, it was the hymn that actually anthem that we did last year. Because um, I thought it was kind of important that we do something that may be familiar as well. So uh, enjoy the service and uh, once again, uh, we wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a wonderful holiday season. Thank you.
So I started the day today, it was going perfectly, until as I was about to go outside the, uh, to get to the car, I spilled coffee on me, so it's like, it was a disaster. And I actually, um, I'm sure my wife is not going to be happy when she woke up because I actually spilled coffee on a stack of cars that were supposed to be mailed out. So. And I thought everything was smooth sailing until I knocked over the stand at the beginning of that thing. So, anyway, I just want to thank you once again. And uh, as you heard, I mean, our jobs as instrumentalists is actually we're trying to sing and have the instruments sing, just like people, you know, we all do, um, in singing um, with our voices as well. Um, just want to thank the church again and thank um, all the support that makes such um, glorious music possible. And please think of us, think of the Angels of Music Fund as you make your end of the year contributions and certainly uh, for the church as well. And um, uh, thank you once again. And for this uh, upcoming Hallelujah Chorus, uh, please remain seated and mumble quietly. And, but uh, just really sing with your heart because I think as you heard in this program as well, uh, we get so uh, overjoyed with this festive, uh, festive season and being happy and joyous. And then we, I think a lot of times forget, and certainly I have tendency to forget how much love and romance and a heart is involved in this season as well. Um, so once again, uh, enjoy. Thank you.
to our guest, to Constantinos and Jin. What an amazing Christmas gift. And Jin, for all that you do all year, and particularly for these special concerts, what a gift you bring us. And now may we prepare to go from this place renewed in confidence that beauty is indeed a gift from our God. The community is the source of our strength and our hope and that we walk ever in the light of the God who knows and loves us. Go in peace. Amen. And I would ask you before you go in peace, to please be seated for one more moment.